Good morning. Uh, welcome to Colin and Curtis in the Morning. It is episode 65. It is January the 9th, 2017. I am joined, as always, by Colin. Colin, how are you doing? Hey, Curtis. I'm doing well. How are you today? I'm great. I'm doing great. Uh, so we got a, a pretty small show, potentially, for you. Kind of depends on how things pan out. You know, we're still in the early weeks of January. Not a whole lot going on. Uh, we just got a little, uh, not maybe not little. We get we got one big news story this week. Uh, one thing that we have you know talked about a few different times over the past year and a half or so, if not more. And it's something that I think you and I have been excited about at varying levels over that time period. And we're now in a position where this is a game that has been missing in action for a very long time. And it is coming out uh, very shortly, it would seem. And so I just want to jump right into news, Colin. This is like the key thing for this episode, really. It's uh, other than maybe some Nintendo Switch talk at the end, possibly. Mm -hmm. Uh, But we're talking about Rhyme. So, Colin, like for our listeners, you know, if anyone who maybe isn't familiar with Rhyme because it is a game that has been missing for probably over a year and a half now. Yes. If I remember correctly, it's been a very long time since we've seen anything concrete come up with this game. Yep. And and so now it's and there's been rumors. There's been, there's been some rumors that shed some not so great light on this game uh, to the point where it got me like it, it kind of made me just almost not even care about what what happens to this game, uh, yeah. if they were true or not. Um, but here we are. So Rhyme has reemerged this week. We got a. Um, a couple minute gameplay trailer. Uh, we got a release month. Um, we've kind of got some information. IGN has a preview article about the game where they kind of walk through. They they got to play like the first chapter or so. So they got to play the few hours of the game. It sounds like so. There's so now we've even got an article like hands on of like people who have played it who are like yeah this is about the game that we expected it to be uh, in the first place really. Mm-hmm. But I, I, what I wanted to do, Colin, is I want you know we've talked about this game before. The last time we talked about it uh, was when those rumors hit. I was around last summer, and just as a very brief refresher, you know, it was Rhyme was originally a PlayStation Four exclusive. It was something that I believe Sony was set to publish, or at least yes. assist in. Um, I believe this was a Sony Computer Entertainment published title at the time, from what I remember. Yeah. And something happened, uh, something that we likely won't know the full story or the full gist of, uh, but basically Sony dropped it. Mm -hmm. And the rumor that we had gotten was that a lot of the trailers for Rhyme that we have seen were not of a game that was actually an actual game at all. Yeah, it It wasn't even in the making. It was just kind uh, of The trailers were just kind of faked and, and very concept and not a lot of stuff. That game seemed to be in a lot of development trouble. Mm-hmm. And uh, maybe that game wasn't actually what we thought it was. Uh, maybe it was more tower defense or or something a bit different. Um, a lot of those trailers seem to indicate something that was closer to a Team Eco game, yeah. something like something like Eco or uh, The Last Guardian. Um, maybe a Wind little Waker. less Shadow of the Colossus, a uh, Wind Waker as well. Yeah. Um, and and so it's it's been an interesting road getting here, especially because. You know, I, I imagine, you know, when rumors like that hit, it's probably difficult to stay silent if you're the developer and and not really say anything, especially in this scenario where this game actually, by this trailer, seems like it might actually turn out okay. Uh, so, Colin, I want to I wanna kick it to you real quick. So, we got this new trailer. It's about two and a half minutes long. Shows a good bit of gameplay. It actually reveals some interesting details about the world that maybe we can get into. But just that first time you watch this trailer, just opening thoughts. I'm feeling pretty good, honestly. Uh, I watched that trailer, and I I mean, maybe if I go back and watch some of the old trailers, I could maybe say, like, hey, this doesn't look the same at all. But from my recollection, I think it looks almost just as good as what I thought we looked at way back then. I thought, like, the music was still Mm -hmm. good. I thought the visuals were still good. I still think there's, like, a lot of mystery in the game that was shown in the trailers that I really enjoyed. Um, so I, I'm, yeah. I'm kind of back on the hype train for this game, uh, for the most part. Um, and you know what I, like, it's one of those things where it's, 
from from the beginning, from that first trailer, we saw a game that was that looked really good, like just graphically, like the art style was something that I think really a lot of people latched onto. Um, but it evoked this kind of atmosphere, or this sense of it definitely evoked Team Eco. Um, there was a reason why people compared it to their games uh, because it looked like something that you would see. It looked like an Eco or the Last Guardian, yeah. You know, essentially, and it it it, it evoked that kind of spirit, and and it was something that there was a reason why those comparisons were made, and, and in a way, it, it reminds me of when the last guardian reemerged of this you just see some new footage and it's like yeah that that looks like pretty much what i remember it looking like mm-hmm. and it continues to look like what i expected from it anyways um and and i think in, in a way that can be a good thing because i i will say for one i think the last guardian way lived up to my expectations you know it's one of my favorite games of the last year and these are very different situations i'm sure uh, but it was kind of encouraging to see a new trailer for this game and have it look pretty much about what most people expected it to look like. Yeah. Um, not just graphically speaking, but also as far as, you know, we finally get a, some decent details of what kind of game this is. And, you know, we see some puzzles. Uh, we see, like, there's a part where, where you're swimming underwater and there's, like, this huge um, fish whale looking thing. It's just like dead laying at the bottom of this, yeah. what I would assume is a lake. Um, we see there is a, a cloaked figure that's kind of like standing in the distance, staring at your character <laughs> at a few at, at a few moments. Um, I, I kind of reminded the... me. Yeah, go ahead. Go. Okay, okay, well, it kind of reminded me of the journey. Character. Oh, I thought I thought it was the journey character for a minute. I yeah, watched that. And I was like, is that is that the traveler guy from Journey? Yeah. With, and then there's also these, like, bipedal robot walker things. Uh, at least one that I saw in the trailer. Yeah. And there's, like, all the... There's also this, like... There's one point in the trailer where they... I just wrote them down as, like, ghost-like figures. There's, like, a handful of them that just kind of walk past the boy. But they're kind of, a uh, Not quite translucent, but they're kind of glowing. They're kind of bluish-white. Um, And so you get these glimpses. And I also... I, I threw in here as well, like... You know, this is set on this big island with all these different puzzles and just a little, a little bit of the aesthetic. Um, but also, there's just some elements in that trailer that gave me a lot of um, the same vibes as something like The Witness, mm-hmm. where it's just this big island with all these different puzzles that it seemed non-linear. Um, it's kind of hard to tell with that kind of trailer the way it's cut together. You, it's kind of difficult to to tell for sure, but it yeah. seemed open in in that same way. Um, and so. You know, good comparisons to make. I think these are highly rated games uh, from the past year. But I, you know, I also say I, I don't know if I'm back just yet, Colin. Hmm. I am a little. I don't know if skeptical is the right word. Uh, it does make me curious as to how much of those rumors were true and how much were not quite or were a bit off base. It's something I don't think we'll ever know, but. Uh, but it was one of those things where, you know, it's you hear all of these bad things about a game and then it kind of reemerges. And, you know, we'll see when it comes out, how it turns out for sure. But I feel like this trailer did a lot more good than anything else. Yeah. Um, I don't think there's any one thing in this trailer that I could point out and be like, oh, I don't know about that. Like, I feel like this trailer is ticking all the right boxes. It's showing um some interesting puzzle mechanics that it's like okay yeah that could be cool um it's it's still got enough mystery or like it's showing a bit more it's revealing a little bit more of this world this island that you're going to be on like these like figures that you see these char- these other characters uh we'll call them um show swimming which is like a new thing that we had not seen before and and so it's it's the type of thing that you look at and it, and it's still while it's still revealing new things it's still mysterious I still do, I still feel like oh there's all these different things I don't know about this game yet that I would like to um yeah you you see you see many of the things in the trailer and you're like well what's he doing like oh he's like moving some statue and he's like oh what's he doing there you know so it's still what's the journey guy doing in this yeah, game yeah what's the know? journey guy doing why, why is he chirping over there um yeah. it's it's still got like a lot of mystery that you know usually I guess I don't know, maybe I'm completely off, but, like, you see, like, a trailer, and you're like, oh, well, this guy clearly is going to this objective, and he's 
you know, if it's yeah. a shooter, he's like, oh, he's shooting these people or something. But like with this game, you're like, I, he's moving the statue. Like, I don't know what that's going to do. Like now this orb is lighting up and like, I don't know what that does. Well, and so you're kind of interested. And it's also, it's, it's, it's the kind of thing for a game that is so, it definitely seems like it's very shrouded in mystery. Um, just from skimming over the IGN preview article, it seems like a one of the big basis of this game is that you're not going to know anything at the start and it's going to be kind of uncovering that mystery. And so it's easy when you put trailers out to run into the issue of showing too much. Mm -hmm. Um, It's very easy to run into that. I think the last guardian actually, there were certain things I knew about the last guardian going into that, that I really wish I didn't. Yeah. Um, That were just present in the trailer. And I feel like even though I'm seeing like, Oh, there's these other characters. I'll, I'll call them characters for now. Like, these other characters in this island that we've never seen before. But I don't feel like their presence in the trailer is giving anything away. It's adding to that mystery. Mm-hmm. And I would even say, like, if you wanted, like, to really dig, like, you know, frame by frame and and start picking at things in this trailer to go off of, like, I think the fact that in that swimming section you see this huge whale that seems to be dead, perhaps for a while, you know, just yeah. laying at the bottom of this lake, like, that's interesting. Like, what does that mean? Why Why is it dead? Is, like, all of the animal life around here dead? Like, what does that mean, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, how does that play into... Is that just, like, a... Is that just a moment of, like, oh, visually that's a thing that will stick with me? Or is there more meaning to that? Uh, and I feel like in a game like that... And in a game like this, what it appears to be, at least through this trailer, um, that makes it more interesting to me. I feel like yeah. those are the kinds of things that maybe there's a bit more weight uh, added to those kinds of discoveries that you might make. Uh, we should also say, so now that Sony's not involved as far as publishing, this is now being published by Graybox and Six Foot. Uh, so from the, the research we did, Colin, it seems like the Graybox and Six Foot are tied together. They did Dreadnought. Mm-hmm. They put out Dreadnought Tell and Grey Goo. Yeah. Yeah. Um... So not too much to go on there. I don't think either of us are really familiar with anything they've done. Uh, but it was the other thing that's interesting that I noted is uh, we know that Tequila Works is working with GameStop through the Game Trust program. Uh, yeah. And so I think we assumed that perhaps Rhyme would be that game. Uh, but it seems not. So it seems like Tequila Works actually has another thing unannounced so far that is part of this Game Trust thing, which... I'm still very interested to see how that turns out for GameStop. Mm-hmm. That's probably a com- conversation for another time. Um, so I just I also want to bring up this uh, from the IGN article that they have written down. This is, again, from like the first couple hours of the game. Uh, kind of the setup here for Rhyme. And this is something, maybe we've known this, or or maybe you, can, you could kind of had assumed this is what it would be from previous trailers. Uh, but they have written down uh, that you wake up on a beach after a storm without any memories. Uh, and you'll have to explore a colorful island full of strange and ancient structures. So I, I, I feel like that's it seems pretty par for the course of what we've seen from this game thus far. Um, I don't think there's anything there that would be unexpected. Uh, yeah. But again, I, I, I think, Colin, unless you disagree, I think it really does, as this trailer has shown, set up pretty much exactly what I expected this game to be. Yeah, I'd agree. Um, yeah. Which is I think I think fascinating because it's it also I, I think in some ways goes against what some of those rumors were telling us. Mm-hmm. And and I don't want to put too much weight into rumors because rumor is what a rumor is, you know, whatever. Uh and I hope they're wrong at this point, really. Uh I, I really hope they're wrong because this looks like a game that is not exo- at all what maybe some people speculated it would be after we had heard about some of the development trouble this game was going under. Yeah. Um, so I don't know. I don't know if I'm fully there yet. I'm hopeful, optimi- uh, optimistic, cautiously so. Mm-hmm. Uh, it is coming out very soon. That was surprising to me. Yeah. Um, it is coming out in May. I don't think we have a specific day yet, uh, but that's just a few short months away. And, and I think that's probably the best way for you to re-reveal a game like this is when you finally talk about it again just to be like yeah it's out in a few months um which to me at least hopefully for something like this leads you to believe that it's probably close to being done they're pretty confident they'll get it out then yeah um and we'll see then i'm 
this is not the last we'll talk about rhyme yeah probably i don't not. i don't think yeah. but uh i anticipate both of us will probably end up playing this at some point and i would look forward to talking about the finished product uh because man it's been a journey getting here as has as has been the case with a number of games recently released um but yeah i, I don't know cautiously optimistic i think is where i'm at yeah uh, there's still there's still a few things that i wonder i'm like i don't know you know I mean, we've seen, like, The Last Guardian did it. It went through its own little version of Development Hell, and it, it made it out relatively unscathed. Um, Final, Final Fantasy fifteen took a long time getting here, and I was satisfied with that game. This is obviously a very different developer, very different, probably, size of a team, different budget, different everything. Um, but those games give me hope that even if... Uh, you enter some development turmoil. You can still make it out on the other side. Somehow, some way. You can make the switch. <laughs> you can make the switch. And uh, and things can turn out okay. And I hope it does. Uh, Rhyme from the beginning looked really, really great. Yeah. And I don't think this trailer looks all that different from what we've seen all those years ago. Yeah, I don't think so either. I just know a lot of, you know, it's YouTube comments, of course. But, you know, just oh, pe sure. people saying it looked terrible. And I'm like, I don't, I don't see it. They're like, oh, no wonder Sony dropped it. It looks awful. I'm like, oh, whatever, <laughs> if you like, say so. Yeah, I, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, maybe it looks like something that you wouldn't want. I don't know. I, I just, nothing about that trailer. Like, it'd be interesting to go back and look at the old ones, and maybe graphically it's a downgrade, like, even then, whatever. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't look all that different. There's a lot more gameplay in this trailer, for sure. Mm -hmm. I think those earlier trailers were a bit more teases than anything. Um. But it totally looks almost on point to exactly what I thought it would be in a lot of ways. Yeah. I don't feel like there's any mechanic they showed in this new trailer that caught me off guard and was like, oh, wow, I didn't think this game would have that. Maybe swimming. <laughs> yeah. But even then, like, okay. Um, so I don't know. Uh, Colin, you have any any closing words, I guess, on, on Rhyme? Um, not too much. Just still looking forward to it. Um, I interest has been peaked again um since even the first what was that gamescom 2013 2014 trailers wow it's, like i don't know i think it was 20 i want to say i can't remember i want to say 14 but didn't we get but, two trailers in a row i thought i thought we got one year and then we got another year so yeah. i thought it was 2013 2014 and then nothing you might be right i'm not i I'm do not i'm pretty sure. sure we got at least two trailers yeah but I, I just don't remember what the first year was. You might be right that it was 2013, 2014. Yeah. Which, in that case, it had been missing for even longer than I had thought. Yeah, yeah. Um, um, but, I mean, I guess, still looking forward to it. I'll probably maybe pick it up. Yeah. Yeah, and I, one of us will probably end up reviewing it at some, or something. We'll we'll see for sure. Um, um, so that's going to – man, I, I guess that's it. There's – not been a whole lot of other, you know, major news, I guess, this weekend. Again, that's to be expected. Uh, Mass Effect Andromeda got a release date. It's coming out in March. So that's happening. I don't know if you believe that release date, but we'll, we'll uh, find out. <laughs> sure, I'll believe it. Yeah. I don't I don't see them announcing it, like, two months away and then delaying it again. But I can't see that happening. Yeah. Um. I'm, like, mildly excited for that game. I don't know why fully, but I, I, guess, I don't know. You're crazy. Yeah. Mass Effect 2 was good. You can download Mass Effect 2 free on Origin right now on PC. I saw that. I saw that. I'll probably download it just for to get it on my account, but... Yeah. Mass Effect 2, kind of an overrated game, in my opinion. Mm. Like it's up, like it's probably it's, <laughs> it's probably my most overrated game of like, like ever. Yeah, that like I don't, I just don't see it. Like I don't see why people understand, like think that that's like so such a great game. I finished that game too. I I don't I forced myself to finish that game. I don't see it. Wow. I don't know that I can think of anything off the top of my head that I would that I would be like I just don't understand what people see in it. Because even games I don't like. Or that I didn't finish, I can I can still sit there and be like, yeah, I get it. Half Life Two is another one for me. This is a whole another discussion, probably. Yeah, Half Life is one that I'm not a huge uh, fan of, I guess. But I, 
but I can at least understand that. I, I think those games are more of a time where when they came out, they were very innovative. Mm-hmm. Um, whereas now, like, if you play them for the first time nowadays, I don't think you'll get the full understanding of why those games are appreciated as much as they are. Yeah. Um, even though I don't particularly care for them all that much, I can at least kind of understand. Um, and the same thing, like, I never finished Red Dead Redemption, but I totally get, I totally understand why people love that game. Yeah. Um, I just couldn't finish it. It took me forever. <laughs> <laughs> but I never felt like I was progressing, which I guess is more of a problem with open world games anyways. Uh, but that is regardless of, of Red Dead or anything else, I suppose. Uh, but that's going to do it, Colin, for PlayStation stuff, I guess. Uh, so real quick, Colin, where can people find you? They want to follow you on Twitter, let's say. Yeah, you can find me at Bossman C. Crowder. Uh, probably tweeting maybe about some Kansas State Wildcats stuff. How have they been doing recently? Uh, we we won a bowl game. That's good. We won okay. our bowl game against Texas A&M. There you go. We lost a game against the University of Kansas by two points with a guy from KU taking four steps without dribbling the and ball. Was, and yeah, then, yeah, it was college basketball. Yeah, col- so we, yes, college we're basketball. Moving sports. Yes, we're moving <laughs> sports. A uh, guy for Kansas University took four steps without dribbling and laid the ball in mm. the hole in the hoop mm. with no time remaining and and beat us so that's what I happened see. but other than that we're doing pretty good this year so you'll probably find me <laughs> tweeting about that or something all right and i'm sure you'll be tweeting all about mass effect 2 in the coming weeks oh you know it i'll be all over that yeah uh i am at ps penguin on twitter i don't i don't know that i have any one given thing um that i tweet about but mostly penguins i guess probably uh, and then we are at PSN stores on Twitter. Colin, you're going to start running that account mostly. Doing the best I can. Spreading, spreading the good word. Yes. Spre- doing <laughs> spreading some... the gospel of PlayStation <laughs> Network. <laughs> the tweet choir of PSN stores. Uh, yeah. Happy CES week, everyone. Um, happy CES. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to try and get on there and, and do some just regular tweeting or in case you missed it stuff or uh, just retweeting or liking uh, some you know, news stories that kind of happen on Twitter. Um, but yeah. Open up more of a dialogue with our side account. Yeah, I, I think is the main goal yes. for sure. Uh, something we wanted to get to, and cause we haven't used a lot really, other than just posting our stories. Yeah. Um, and different content. So there's that. Uh, we are on Patreon. It's Patreon.com/slash PSN Stores, I believe, is the URL. Yes. If not, we'll have it in the show notes. If you'd like to support us, that is the that's one way to do so. Um. We definitely appreciate it uh, very much so. Mm-hmm. And I think that's the key things we want to highlight. Oh, if you want to email us, send us in fan fiction, fan art, questions. Tell us we're wrong about something. Or tell us we're right about something. I don't know. Um, do you also think Mass Effect is overrated? I'm going to write in and say Mass Effect is overrated. Let us know. That is podcast at psnstores.com. Or you can just reach out to us on Twitter in the comment sections on anywhere this is posted. Uh, anything that works for you. And we'll uh, we'll highlight it in the next episode. We'll see you next week.